This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips, techniques, and trips video. Hello divers. Thanks for joining me today. The subject of today's video is helping prevent incorrect deco gas switches. Since the 1990s, Several procedures have been developed to help prevent incorrect decompression gas switches and these include marking tanks and the no-tox procedure. Despite these procedures, technical divers continue to execute incorrect decompression gas switches. This last summer, an Egyptian technical diving instructor switched to the wrong gas and as a result experienced central nervous system toxicity, convulsed, and eventually drowned. So what we're going to talk about in this video are some additional procedures that you can utilize to help prevent incorrect decompression gas switches. When it comes to decompression gas switching, it goes without saying that divers should properly analyze and mark their scuba cylinders. I cover this in video 123, analyzing and marking nitrox cylinders. I also cover simple decompression gas switching in video 163. Unfortunately, I have not yet had the opportunity to make a video on decompression gas switches with two decompression tanks. Keeping video 123, analyzing and marking scuba cylinders and video 163, single deco gas switching procedures in mind, we are now going to discuss additional things that you can do to help prevent incorrect decompression gas switches. Diving in a team does also not guarantee a successful decompression gas switch as the Egyptian instructor was diving with nine other divers. So the first thing we're going to discuss uh, is the use of different color hoses to help prevent incorrect decompression gas switches. And we're going to expand that a little bit um, to include, uh, for example, stage tanks and also travel gas. So what I have here on the left is a travel gas regulator setup. And in the center I have a low O2 decompression gas uh, regulator setup and then on the right I have a high O2 gas uh, regulator decompression regulator setup. All right so for the um, more uh, normal situation here uh, which is the travel gas which could also be a stage tank with uh, bottom gas I'm going to be using a black hose. All right so the most important thing here is that each one of the applications that you're going to be using uh, has a different color hose. So uh, black is a normal color for hoses, so that's what I've selected for the, um, uh, the travel gas. So then uh, the, uh, the low O2 decompression gas, uh, I've used uh, a yellow hose, and uh, yellow hoses are very easy to get. Uh, because they are the same color as a um, alternate air source, um, a, um, an octopus. Uh, so those are very common uh, and um, easily recognized. And then for the high O2 uh, regulator, I'm going to be using a green hose. Uh, these are much more difficult to get than the yellow hoses or the black hoses. Uh, but if you want to uh, make sure that you are uh, going to be as careful as possible, uh, it is definitely worth getting the, um, the green hose. So, uh, for instance, whenever I teach a, um, uh, either a trimix course or a uh, or nomoxic trimix course or a hypoxic trimix course, I always insist that the divers use black for the travel gas, yellow for the low O2, and green uh, for the high O2. So, uh, even if you are not uh, directly in front of the person who is doing uh, the decompression gas switch, uh, you can uh, see uh, off uh, in a, uh, a uh, distance, you can actually see if somebody has the wrong um, gas hose uh, in their mouth. Okay, so I found this a very effective way, uh, secondary way of checking 
uh, to see uh, that uh, individuals in the team uh, have the correct um, gas in their mouth after they've done the gas switch. Now, some people might say that, okay, what happens if I'm colorblind? Uh, I'm not colorblind, so I can't tell for sure, uh, but I think that there's probably different hues. This would definitely be a darker shade, and this would definitely be a lighter shade. So I think that even if you have team members that are colorblind, uh, this may still assist them. Now, the second thing that uh, we can do uh, to help prevent uh, an incorrect gas switch uh, involves labeling. But here, we're not talking about labeling on the tank. We're talking about labeling on the regulator. So, I actually have two different things uh, on each one of these regulators uh, that are not visible uh, from the angle that I'm shooting at right now. And um, they become apparent uh, when I turn them uh, this way. And so, for example, we'll start out with this one on the bottom, okay? So, uh, if you're going to be putting the regulator in your mouth, um, you're going to have it right in front of you, and you can easily read the writing on the bottom of the exhaust uh, deflector. And so, this is clearly ma uh, uh, labeled as travel gas. Uh, I do have on pretty much all my regulators that require a computer gas switch uh, change, I have the statement switch computer gas okay so that's an additional reminder to me after I've done the gas switch that I need to uh, change my um, my computer as well all right so that's what I have on the travel gas so the middle one the low O2 uh, deco gas regulator what I have is X32 uh, typically I'll use X32 instead of X50 but uh, you could do the same thing with X50 because that's generally your low O2 um, uh, decompression gas. Uh, so I'll mark that. So prior to putting this in my mouth again, I will see this. Uh, see, clearly I'll see X32. Uh, and then again, they switch the computer gas. And then lastly, on my high O2 deco gas, uh, I typically use 100% uh, oxygen. So here we have the X100. And again, the uh, switched uh, computer gas um, as the final warning. Uh, of course, uh, many other people prefer to use um, uh, X80 for their high deco gas, uh, but it doesn't really make a difference. You know that it's a high O2 deco gas, 80, 100, 90, whatever it happens to be. And you also know that the one over here, the low O2 deco gas, is going to be 32 or 50 or something of that sort. Okay, so this is uh, labeling the actual regulator itself is the second means uh, that you can employ to help prevent an incorrect decompression gas uh, switch. A third thing that you could do to help minimize the possibility of an incorrect gas switch is on your low O2 deco regulator you can actually replace whatever black or dark colored uh, face plate and exhaust deflector is on there with one that is made for an alternate air source. So in this case, I have a yellow face plate and I have a yellow exhaust deflector uh, just to make it that much more apparent that this is uh, what that is. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna show the two uh, ones that I had before. Here is the low O2 uh, deco uh, regulator, second stage. And then here is uh, not quite exactly the same model, but a very similar one uh, with the um, a yellow face plate and also the yellow uh, exhaust deflector. So uh, you can uh, see as you're putting this in your mouth, uh, you will see the um, yellow trim on the exhaust deflector and if you look at the regulator, uh, you are going to be able to tell that it is indeed different than perhaps uh, your high uh, O2 uh, regulator. Uh, unfortunately, uh, color kits um, uh, I think may be difficult to get for green uh, for some of the um, some of the regulators are out there. So uh, that is just going to have to be something that you can try to get. Uh, there are some O2 specific regulators that already come with the green faceplate. So if you have one of those, uh, you don't need to worry about 
uh, switching it from a darker color to the green because it's already uh, that's the way that it came. A few other things that you can do uh, to color code uh, your different uh, regulators. One is a mouthpiece, mouth block, something of that sort. Uh, in this case, we have a yellow one that would be used for the low O2 deco regulator. And you can also get um, mouthpieces that are colored. Uh, in this case, uh, green for high O2, but they also come in yellow and so on. So those are just a few of the ways that you can um, uh, take some extra precautions to help uh, prevent uh, an incorrect uh, decompression gas uh, switch. And so um, if you do that, uh, you are certainly going to be minimizing the possibility uh, that that will happen. And we're not talking about these as replacements to basic procedures. We're talking about uh, these techniques uh, in addition to uh, normal gas switching procedures. So these just add an extra margin of you being able to um, ensure that um, you're going to prevent uh, an incorrect uh, gas switch. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, this is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.